Hello everyone, welcome to the beautiful sunshiny state of Florida. It's not really sunny today, it's kind of cloudy, but it's still better than being up north in the winter. Um, but anyway, we today have a problem and we're gonna bring you along to solve that problem. We have a backed up black tank. It's backed up when we try to drain it, it seems like it's filling up the whole way, but it only shows that it's two thirds of the way full. I tried to drain it the other day, nothing happened. I thought maybe it was just empty because we didn't use it that much. Not the case, it is blocked. So over here we have our sewer connection and it comes through here. So we do have a few different tanks here. We've actually got two gray tanks that flow through here. And we also have our black tank that comes through here. So this guy is backed up, backed up, backed up. So let me just show you. So like I said, this is where our two gray tanks and our black tank come through. On the other side, we do have more tanks for our second bathroom. We have two full bathrooms here, um, but <laughs> the other one seems to be okay. This one, not so much. We have a lot going on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of uh, just the general idea as to what's going on here. Um, we have this gray tank here we have our black tank here and we have our other gray tank over here we also do have like a little sprayer that's supposed to clean everything out it doesn't seem like it's doing much uh, yeah I don't know it's it doesn't seem to be working but for the sake of this video for people who don't have these connections in the first place I'm just gonna go ahead and bypass those oh hey we've got a friend hey friend hi um, don't mind us we're making a video so anyway, for um, the sake of this video, I am just gonna bypass this um, tank cleaner. Um, some people have them, some people don't. If you have it and it works, great, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Um, for people who don't have this and have a clog that's right up against the pipes here. So for this, what's happening is when we go to drain our black tank, there's something that's right up against there you kind of you know you pull the lever and it opens it up right where that opening is there's probably like a wad of toilet paper or something for all i know it could be a kid's toy something they've thrown down there i have no idea it is clogging that and we need to get it out so there's a couple different things that we're going to do here and i'm going to show you what we're going to do so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to pull on the black tank and i'm going to pull it the whole way open just to show you guys that nothing is happening so it's open totally open it says it's two-thirds of the way full you can hear nothing nothing's running nothing's coming through this it's totally empty nothing's happening no sounds at all and i can also go down and show you so you can see nothing's happening here it's open there's a little bit just a teeny tiny little bit right there that's just kind of left over from before there's nothing in this hose nothing yes i'll go wash my hands i know i'm not wearing gloves don't yell at me um nothing's happening nothing's coming through here it's open wide open nothing's happening also if you don't have a sewer line that has that clear little attachment on it either up at the front or down at the end totally suggest that it helps a lot with seeing if stuff's still coming sometimes it's still running and you can't hear it get one of those so i'm gonna go ahead and close this guy back up these are not the easiest thing in the world to close I know everybody complains about them um, I'm just gonna open up like our gray tank too just to show you that our lines are working so you should be able to hear the water hear it running our uh, gray tank isn't that full but I just want to show you guys that in general this pipe is working it's not clogged so here you can see just our clear water from our shower coming through it's not pulling any of the black water or anything with it and like I said it's not um, it's not really super full so it's not like gushing water but anyway you can see it's working so those ones are not clogged and it's not really pulling any black water out with it so there you have it that is that so if these are the same issues that you're experiencing follow along to see how we fix it it's a little bit tight in here, so we're just gonna have to kind of deal with it being tight in the bathroom. But this is our toilet, and if you don't wanna see down our sewer system, then viewer discretion is advised, but I'm gonna show you what happens whenever I try to open the toilet. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. Yeah, you can see, see how the water's right up to the top? Now it tells us that it's only one third full, so we're pretty sure there's a clog up here and there's a clog down there, but we're gonna try to fix both. I do want you to keep in mind, like I said earlier, as you can see, it's filled the whole way up to the top. Nothing is coming out when we go to drain it, which means that there's definitely a clog on the other end. So we found this product and it's not sponsored or anything, but we're gonna give it a shot. 
So this is the product that we found and I went to their website and you can look on their website for different places that sell this. So we found an Ace Hardware store here in Daytona Beach and we called them and they had it and we went to go get it. So this stuff is supposed to be pretty amazing. I saw one review of it online and it was awesome. And so we're going to go ahead and give it a try. This is, um, it was, I believe $12 at Ace Hardware, but you really don't need a whole lot. So like two ounces, it treats 40 gallons. So I'm going to put, I probably shouldn't do it. You should use this at your own discretion, but I'm going to put twice the amount in here that we need just to see if that works. On their website, it says basically that it can liquefy anything in your tank in about two hours. Now, I don't know if that's so true if it's totally full with like 60 gallons of water or anything like that, but um, ours, ours isn't that large. So we're going to put in the recommended amount in here and then we're actually going to go out and we're going to go to an event that's on the beach, um, visit some family and everything like that. We're going to let this sit and then we're going to see what happens and if it doesn't work, we have another method. Once we get back, I'm going to check the toilet, see if anything's gone down, try to empty it, and then we have one more step that we're gonna do to declog this guy and just make sure that this thing doesn't happen again. But we're also gonna make sure that we have some methods to clean everything out should it happen again. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in and I'll be back when we get back home. So I just put the recommended amount in here. It said to fill up the bowl a little bit. I don't really have much room to fill up the bowl a whole lot, so I fill it up a little bit and then I put it in there and now we're just gonna dump it down. Be really careful because right at the top whoa did you wait holy cow did you see that they like ate everything down already what the heck that's amazing did you guys see that that as soon as i released it just ate through the toilet paper and went straight down to the tank so that clog is fixed um the outside one though is what is really gonna be the test. So I know it's not working on that yet. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then we will be back to try to dump that and see what happens. We just now got back home. It is pretty late. It's uh, 8.40 at night. So it's been what, like eight or so hours. It has been eight hours since we put the treatment in the tank. And when we came back home, I could see that it is no longer clogged at all, um, draining down into the tank. But as far as exiting the tank, I'm not 100% sure. It's super dark out right now. So I'm gonna go out and we're gonna see what happens, see if it drains. And if not, I'm gonna go ahead and use our next tool and see if it drains. Okay, so it's very, very, very dark out here, but we're gonna see if this works. So, let's see. Make sure our connections are still good, just in case, because that would suck if it wasn't. Okay, this is what. All right, we're gonna let this sit overnight and see what happens. It definitely helped the inside of the tank, but I'm not so sure it's made it to where we dump yet. So there's a noticeable improvement inside though, like a noticeable, noticeable improvement. So even if it doesn't drain in the morning after it sits all night, it's still a great product, I think. So I'm still gonna keep using it because just what it did in that eight hours was insane. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy back up and I will see you guys in the morning. We're back at this again, so sorry for all the noise. There's lots of dogs barking, there's lots of birds chirping out here. I've got kids running. Um, we haven't had any luck. I'm gonna try to pull it one more time, a little after 24 hours with the um, liquid treatment in the tank. If I could get it. Um, and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. It's so hard to get out right now. You can. All right, so this is the next step that we're gonna do. This is called the Rhino Blaster, and this has a hose hooked up. We do have a splitter over there. I wanna make sure, please, 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 do not ever use your drinking water hose when doing anything with any of your tanks. Don't attach them. Make sure you have a second hose. I have a second hose that goes over to a splitter over here so that it splits off and it is keeping everything sanitary. Now there's a few of these where there's like a little, um, like port that you can close here so that the water stays up in there. I couldn't find that version. I would have preferred to have that, but we're gonna try this one. I found this at Walmart, so we're gonna go ahead and try it. All right, so the hose is on, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna just open this up and spray it in and see what type of water starts flowing out of here. Oh, 
Okay, there's some water coming. Just appears to be clear liquid right now. All right, guys, I woke up sick this morning, so I'm sorry if I sound super congested. I do want to say I may have figured out our issue. So we have a fifth wheel. It has one black tank that runs to the back, um, and I can drain the back. Um, I thought here we had two. I was pretty sure we have two. I kind of still feel like we have two, but our manual says we have one. Um, I called an RV tech, and they said that there's plumbing most likely underneath of our uh, master, and that we would have to have somebody with, like, a... Um, like one of the honey wagons that like vacuums out your your tanks or um like somebody who does like sewer and like sucks out septic to be able to suck everything out for us and get it all cleared but then i was like well if there's plumbing under there and this isn't draining maybe it's just not reaching the black tank so i went out and i got a plunger and i didn't show it because i really didn't think anything was going to happen the um, toilet was all the way up to the top so I plunged it like twice and everything just went straight down and I was able to hold the pedal down for like three minutes and water wasn't coming back up so I think we may have fixed this issue I'm hoping that maybe I didn't like just dump everything out on the ground outside my RV but we're gonna go ahead and try to drain it and see if that fixed the issue okay so it's slow moving but there is some coming out and then every once in a while there's a gush so I can feel that it's breaking down everything. So it seems like there must have been some really, really big clog in the plumbing to, there we go. Yeah, see so you can see the, the clogs coming out. So there must have been something in the plumbing. Now right now we kind of like drained it all out and my husband is just running his foot on it, which is why it's now starting to come out clear. So um, just to make sure that water starts coming out, we get it all cleared out. So I had him just push, put his foot on the pedal for a couple minutes so that it just drained all those chunks out. And now everything should be totally empty. You can take me high. Feels like I can fly. can take me high